I can't go anywhere where there's not a family affected by fentanyl. Oh my goodness, is that one? Here, come on up here. A criminal came in from Philadelphia, brought three methyl fentanyl. Our daughter took it because she had physical pain from Lyme. My husband found her the next morning and the criminal that brought this to our home is appealing his sentence. And John Fetterman will be the person who says, okay, this is fine. Give him another chance. One Pennsylvania mother sharing the devastating impact of the fentanyl crisis on her own family as she rallies with Dr. Oz in his fight for the Senate with the race now down to a statistical tie. Pittsburgh-based columnist and reporter Selena Zito joins us now. Selena, what a sad story. Explain to us, because you're on the ground there in, in Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania, how central is the idea of is, is fentanyl and crime uh, to this race? It's it's the most these are the two most important things in the race outside of, of inflation. You know, that was absolutely gutting. What is sad for me to say as a reporter that's been covering this epidemic for 15 years and watching it escalate in the past two years to even a higher number is that I have been on the ground with Dr. Oz where there's no cameras around. And he's had this conversation, not once, not twice, but dozens and dozens of times. And it's not just suburban parents, it's city parents, it's rural parents. This is killing our younger generation. And, and it is not being addressed. I had an interview with the sheriff the other day where he was talking to me, and you know, think about this in rural Pennsylvania or rural, rural Ohio. However, he said the cartels are here. And we're not doing anything to stop it. Yeah. So that mother was connecting Fetterman and his sort of soft on crime policies and, right. you know, letting these criminals out uh, to the fentanyl problem. But are the people in Pennsylvania connecting the fentanyl pro problem to our border, to the open border policy Absolutely. of the Biden administration? Absolutely. It doesn't matter what party you're in. People understand where it's coming from and people understand until it's stopped and also and until there are consequences for criminals in the drug trade, but also for crime in general. Uh, people are not going to be satisfied. These are their children and their grandchildren that are dying. Yeah. You know, I've been really surprised. I'm, I'm not from Pennsylvania, so I've been watching with so much curiosity about what's happening. So you have Fetterman, who's, you know, clearly facing some really, you know, cognitive issues because of the stroke he had. Um, he has a, he comes from a, a city that is doing worse <laughs> since he was mayor. I'm surprised that how tight this race is. I mean, you have Dr. Oz, who's a, who's a doctor, who, you know, has a lot of credibility and a lot of name recognition. Why is this race so tight? Well, Pennsylvania has this habit of breaking in the last minute. So it'll be tight, it'll be tight, it'll be tight, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's going to go in one direction or the other. And I think it is just the habit of the American, uh, American people to not really pay attention over the summer. And then that's where you saw Dr. Oz sort of starting to make gains um, after Labor Day, after the end of September. And, and as more knowledge came out about um, Fetterman's lack of transparency um, about his illness, but also that he didn't reduce crime in his city that the, or borough, and that the borough of Braddock actually got worse instead of better. I have a story about that in the New York Post. Uh, but as you saw that, plus you coupled that with Oz going around all across the state in these little events, those a combination of that bo both um, approaches has moved Oz up uh, double digits yeah. and closing on Fetterman. Well, Pennsylvania is very similar to Wisconsin, and we saw that same sort of jump for uh, Senator Ron Johnson in that post-Labor Day um, and as more information came out about his opponents. So it's an interesting state to watch. One we're definitely going to be coming to you again for um, as we get closer to the midterms and, and on Election Day. So, Selena, always great to have you on Fox & Friends. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Rachel. Okay. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.